Okay, I got this running now, and uh, it's pretty well centered, no wobble. Goes really fast. Here's the timing disc. There's the little hall effect. And I've run it and I taped it in place. And if you watched the video before, I have a magnet edge centered on the other magnet center. And it was going to go counterclockwise. And I'm running this clockwise now because it seemed to go better. But all right, so I got a bi-directional MOSFET, don't necessarily need that. Um, that's two rotors. One rotor, two rotors. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. We're going to run about 3.8 volts to start with. Now, this is, whole idea is to get rid of the lens effect, and when I touch this wire here to there, I'm shorting out the generator coils. So, you know, the motor coils take up one third of the length of the core, and the generator coils take up two thirds of the length. So. Watch this. So this is at only 3.4 volts or something. So I just touched it and you can hear it lugging down at the lens effect. Uh, this is simu simulating a load on the coils by just shorting them out, the generator coils. Okay, so we don't see it anything great there. I brought the voltage up to about seven or so. It's going a lot faster. Now, now I will short them out. And it's slowing down from lens effect. Okay, now I will go top speed I'm going to move this so if it even flies off it's not going to hit a window so now it's 10 10 volts or so running it. Now I'll try lens effect. We'll short it out and see what lens effect is. It starts to slow. It's slowing now. Now here's something. I'm going to just tap this. This is simulating taking power out in pulses. Now if you time this to happen at just the right time, like the sine wave piece, into a capacitor, 
probably would have no lens effect. But I'll have to experiment with that. So there's a little bit of lens when I do this. Okay. So it's going good. I need to set up another uh, hall effect and start filling caps and putting the load on, see what the generator makes just itself. And I'm going to do one more test uh, about it going other direction. Okay, now it's going the other direction. Look at the uh, volts. This is the input volts. Flashing around. I didn't see this happening in the other direction of rotation. Right now it's supposed to be running on about 7 volts. I assume that's the uh, flyback. I don't have a steering diode on this and a capacitor, so the flyback is just going right back into the capacitors coming off the power supply here. I assume that's what that is. So let's uh, crank this up all the way. Oh wait, let's let's do a uh, lens test now. Okay, it's slowing. Now let's let's tap it. Oops. Give it a tap. Okay, thanks. Okay, there's that little bit of lens there too. Now let's put it on full full voltage. This is supposed to be 12 volts going in. I'm pushing the hall effect over just a hair advanced. It's not flashing like it did down at about 7 volts input. Okay, let's give this a short now. There it is, it's slowing. There's a dead foot. Now let's let it spill, uh, build a little speed. And I'll give it a tap. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, when it's, now when I tap it, look at the voltage. So uh, the flyback spike is being picked up by these generator cores, I'm sure, because they're sh sharing the same core. So that's interesting, the voltage. So, there's that. A lot better than that vi couple videos ago when the thing was just a wobbly piece of junk. 
Okay, so I would say I need to have some capacitors being filled, full way bridge rectifier over the generator coils, and also a switch, a, a switch time to hit the load at a, a sine wave peak, something like that. So I'm going to pulse out the load too. Okay, thanks for watching.